Hello and welcome to this sneak peek of Fantasy Grounds Savage Worlds 3.2 with Deadlands. Okay, we'll start with one of the new features that's been added in 3.2, uh, the ability to add PC pictures as the GM. So I'll open up the character sheet and here you can see a character called Jesse the Kid Wilson, but we've decided we're going to rename him to Jesse the Killer Wilson, so I'll update the character sheet. But now obviously the picture doesn't really match, so I'll click on the Picks button, Scroll down until I find a picture I want to use. This is just all the portraits. Just drag it, drop it, close it up, and that's an updated portrait for a P player. Next, I'm going to uh, demonstrate the fate ship functionality inside Deadlands. This is subtly different to uh, the new functionality that is in uh, the standard Savage Worlds, which I shall have to do another video another day to demonstrate. The most common situation when you're starting a game of Deadlands, if it's, unless it's the first game of the campaign, is the situation I have here where we've got a, a player who has, has currently has three fate chips and the GM's probably got some as well. So the first thing we'll do is we'll tidy up, the si we'll reset all the fate chips so we can start the new session. So to access the fate chips we'll go doors, then we'll actually look at the Marshal's fate chips by clicking the Marshal chip button and you can see he's still got one chip. So I'm going to reset gather all chips, that will put all the chips back into the pool. Uh, you can check this by having a look at the chip count, that will show all the current chips. Then we'll start awarding chips, so you can just right mouse button on a player and award a fate chip. This will randomly draw one from the pool. Sometimes you may want to give a specific fate chip, therefore you would open up the character sheet and you would right mouse button on the dedicated one and, as you can see, award a red fate chip. I'll try awarding a legend fate chip and this will fail because there are no legend chips in the back, so what we'll do is we'll add a legend chip. So we'll just right mouse button add a legend chip, you can see it's in the bag, ship count will show it's now there, we go back to the player, we can right mouse button and award a legend chip. For the marshal to draw fate chips you just click on the fate chip bag, and this will randomly draw a fate chip. If you want to add a specific fate chip you just right mouse button. If for any reason you want to reset all the fate chips back to the start you just right mouse button on the fate chip bag, select gather all chips, and it will draw all the fate chips back into the bag. This does not reset the legend chip, as a sh chip count shows. You can still see there's a legend chip there. If you want to remove them all, select the reset fate chips. This will set things back to the default settings. This concludes the first part of the sneak peek of uh, Savage Worlds 3.2 using Deadlands. Uh, next time I'll hopefully do a much more in-depth one using combat, and with a bit of luck the audio should return to normal.